Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a flat-topped milk carton box. It's a milk carton with a flat top. I love it. I've made this one. I made this one, gosh, quite a long time ago. Um, I don't remember when, but yeah, I love it. I love the shape of it. The fact that it's a little bit unusual, a little bit quirky. And I did promise you the other week when I showed the chocolate caramel Valentine hearts that I was going to do a project that used the paper and the stamps, but not necessarily love hearty. And although I have used one of our doilies here, you don't necessarily have to. So this is the very beautiful, shiny, real red with um, flirty flamingo spots. The one I'm going to use is simply stripes. There's no, this isn't one of the speciality ones, but it's it's very nice. I really rather like it. Okay, you need a piece of cardstock that's 11 by 8 inches, 20 by 28 centimetres. And I might have to bring my instructions a little bit closer. So, okay, on the first side, score it at 2 and 5 eighths, 5 and a quarter, seven and seven eighths and ten and a half inches which in metric six and a half thirteen nineteen and a half twenty six turn it round and on the short side score it at two five and seven which in metric is five twelve and a half seventeen and a half so that's the scoring oh no sorry <laughs> you need to put a little mark in here so if I count eighths of inches, um, I need, I've got an odd number. I've got 21 of them and I need to put a little mark in at 10 eighths of an inch, so basically an inch and a quarter. But I need to butt it up a tiny little bit. And the same over here at six and a half. But you need to move the car stock out a teeny tiny bit. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Sorry, I was seeing that there. So, again, if you are scoring on metric, you're going to put your little marks in at... Um, I can't think. Three and a quarter. <laughs> three and a quarter centimetres. But you need to, to mark it up. You need to move it a little bit to get it to score nicely. Okay? And that's only because we're not working in these equal measurements. So I'm going to take that and score it down. I'm going to take that mark and score that down as well. OK, focus camera. So I've scored down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from that line down to there. And you'll see it when I've done it. Probably a little easier. <clears throat> than trying to show you like this. Let me try and cast some shadow. So you can see I've got those diagonal lines going in there. Okay, so let's burnish this up. scores ignore those the triangular lines really are just to help with the closure to get this nice sharp crisp close going on here okay so let me start cutting pieces away so that's the top where we've got all these triangle bits the bottom cut the rectangle away and then cut straight up the score lines. Okay, these parts here, which have got this um, this extra, where the triangle are. Oh god, my brain is not working today. Where the triangle is, this the panel above it. We're going to cut that away completely. So even though I've scored down, it was more for visual purposes than anything. Just that I could see where I was cutting. Oh, 
I would not see where I was scoring, not cutting. Oh, if anybody has located my brain, let me know. It's gone missing. I don't think I wanted to cut that bit away. Ugh. Did I? Yes, I did, that's fine. So what you're left with is these panels are separated at the bottom. Here's my triangles here and here, and I kept hold of those bits. Okay, so I'm going to start putting designer series paper on. So I've got four pieces that measure two and three eighths by two and one eighth. No, sorry, two and three eighths by two and three quarters, which is seven by six centimeters. I've got four of those, and then I've got two pieces for these parts here that measure two and three eighths by one and three quarters, which is seven by four and a half centimeters. And <laughs> my stripes are going to go in the wrong directions. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Would that one line up with that one a little bit better? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not worried. Stripes and stripes. They're just cool. Okay. You can see the very pretty hearts on the other side. So I'm just going to pop all my panels on. I think what's nice about this kind of a, a, a milk carton is that you've got that just that little bit of extra room at the top. When it's finished, it measures up at two and five eighths by two and five eighths by three inches tall. But that's to this point here, so it, you have got a little bit of extra room there. So that's six and a half by six and a half by seven and a half centimeters tall. Um, but yeah, there's that, just that little bit of extra height, but also that little bit of extra width at the top. Okay, last bit. Right, so where's my tarot tape? So that's down the side, and so you close it up. So this is the back. So you're looking for one that's got a panel on it. So that's the back, folding two sides and the back. And it doesn't meet completely closed at the bottom, but that was so that I could get that extra height. I wanted it closer to three inches. Okay, and that, I'm gonna use a teeny tiny little trim there. And there. That's better. Okay, so this is the front of the box. Now these triangles that I put in before, they're gonna help you do that. Okay, so that's why I put the scored triangles in. Right, so I've got my little handheld punch, any kind of small handheld punch, and I'm coming through these two by these two pieces here, so it's just the two parts of the lid. And I want to line it up first. And turn it round. Okay, so they're lined up. Now I don't have a I don't have flirty flamingo ribbon. So I'm gonna come in with the red that I used before. It's fine. So this is going to feed through from front to back. So this is the back part here. Get that nice and neat. Come through the inside of what is going to be at the front and therefore on the top. you gather this 
and pull it all nice and tight. I don't know how well you can see, but that ribbon is not touching the, this part of the cardstock. It's literally just running across the top and it's just keeping it closed. Nothing more than that, but it is keeping it closed. And it means that somebody can open up their gift and they don't have to shred the box to get into it. There's nothing worse than that, is it? When you spend ages making a beautiful gift box for somebody and they rip. I'm not gonna rip this one. Oh, bad scissors. Really bad scissors. There we go, so we're back on the front of the box. I've got my heart doilies. Now you don't have to go with the heart doilies. I like the heart doilies. So I'm gonna take a flirty flamingo one. I need, which I've got to get out. Some flirty flamingo cardstock. So here's my scraps box. And I've got two circles, one and a half inch circle and then one and three eighths, th bleh, one and three eighths of an inch scallop circle. One and a half on the flirty flamingo. Let's find some whisper white. And I'm gonna go with so lucky to have you have a friend like you. Because as I said, this isn't necessarily a Valentine's project. This is just a nice gift for a friend. So into some floaty flamingo ink. That's the one and three eighths of an inch scallop circle. Onto the front there. Dimensional on the back there, if I could see them. They're underneath my ink pad. And I don't know if I want to have it that way. I think I want it white again. So onto there. Snow on the back. To the front of my box. Oops. And to be fair, you know what? I wouldn't mind if a friend of mine sent me a, a nice gift box with hearts on it. Wouldn't bother me at all. But I thought that was a nice way to use the paper that isn't all hearts. I just thought it was lovely and of course if you want to swap it out and put hearts on it, go for it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.